So today I have a after filming routine and I've actually wanted to do one of these videos for a while now to show you guys what I do when I get done filming my YouTube videos. So everything from the tear down to me taking off my makeup to just what I like to do right after filming. I used to like to edit like immediately after because it's nice to edit when you know like whatever you filmed is kind of refreshed in your mind. It just makes editing easier but for a while now I've been liking to separate my filming and editing days and just take a full day of filming and film some videos or just focus on filming one video that I really wanted to and then like the next day I'll start editing videos. So I kind of like to break down what I do. If you guys would like to see like my editing process and what I do there, what I edit on, like all that good stuff, definitely let me know in the comment section down below or just give this video a thumbs up. But either way, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already because I put out new videos all the time. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do when I get done with filming is I like to just tear everything down. I like to clean up my apartment and put it back together as soon as possible. So everything from tearing down my lights to cleaning up the dishes if I filmed a cooking video. Just getting things clean or put away. That is the number one thing I like to do. I also like to change my clothes into something a little bit comfier if I am wearing something that I want to change out of, I guess. If I want to wear like my pajamas right after it, I'll change into that. All right, in comfy clothes, wearing my happy shirt that I've been wearing a lot lately. And then I have on my pajama bottoms that are new with the buckets, a a. And then I also have on my fuzzy slippers, super cute. They're little sheep. Kyle said they look like lamb chops, so I was actually frightened of Sherry Lewis when I was a kid, so that's great. <laughs> But the one thing I really love doing right after filming, I like to take off my makeup. And I like taking off my makeup just because it just feels so nice to just have nothing on your skin besides like some good skincare products. So I've been loving these products from Vichy. And this Idelia Night Peeling Care is perfect because it's paraben free, it's also allergy tested, and it's suitable for sensitive skin, which I have. And just one use, I've noticed that my skin feels smoother, fresh, and more hydrated. And I'll just apply this onto a cotton pad, then press it into my skin, and it feels so refreshing. Another product that I've been loving from Vichy is the Idelia Radiance Boosting Antioxidant Serum. And in just eight days, skin complexion looks more even, the skin texture is refined, and also pores seem less visible. This also contains antioxidants and is a powerhouse of benefits. A healthy glow, even complexion, refined pores and smooth lines, plus a 24 hour hydration. So it's gentle and moisturizing. Plus it's ultra light and it's paraben free, which is great for all skin types for all seasons. And the other Vichy product I've been using is their mineralizing thermal water. And this helps fortify skin against irritation and sensitivity. It also protects skin against progressors like pollution and stress and it's also rich in 15 minerals that your skin needs just like vitamins and antioxidants essential to the skin's function and healthy appearance and it's also a multi-use it's a finishing spray you can use this after cleansing and you could also use this with a beauty blender while I'm taking off my makeup, I also take this time to clean up my makeup brushes. This is a habit I've been trying to get into more lately because for a while, for the longest time, I did not take care of my makeup brushes very well at all. I hardly ever clean them. So I actually have an awesome like makeup pad that I like to use when I remove makeup from my brushes. So I've been using this makeup brush cleansing pad and this is perfect. And this is what I'll use on my brushes every time after I do my makeup. So all you do is just brush your brushes back and forth and that's what gets rid of the makeup as you guys can see on the pad there's the makeup that was on my brushes and this is wild because I love that this is a wet free pad I will just clean the pad after wiping my makeup brushes on it which I think is awesome so I don't have to use a cleanser on my brushes and get them all wet this is actually my favorite go-to on how to clean my brushes right now so definitely check this out I'll put it down below in the description bar what I like to do while I'm cleaning and doing my skincare is listen to either some music or listen to some podcasts because it's a great time to listen to podcasts or just get caught up because if you're like me you have several podcasts you listen to every week and people constantly upload their new podcasts every week. Speaking of podcasts, I actually just started my own podcast. It's called This Week where I just talk current events. I actually answer your guys' Twitter questions as well and my husband was actually on a podcast episode recently and yeah, this is something I just launched and I didn't really announce it on my YouTube channel yet. So, if you would like to listen to my new podcast, I'll put it down below in the description bar. 
But yeah, I'm really excited about that because I just think that was really fun to do. Yeah, on that podcast, it is totally unfiltered. It's a little explicit. I feel like I'm more myself on my podcast. So just go give it a listen if you're curious about that. So something else I like to do right after filming, and I sit back down at my computer, I'll work, I'll finish up like emails and things like that. Just finish up loose ends on the computer. If I need to edit like some photos, I'll do something along those lines. But I also like to make like a cup of tea. But I just love having like a hot beverage with me when I finish up work on the computer. It just feels a little bit relaxing and yeah, I just really like doing that. Sometimes I'll even break in a snack like popcorn or yeah, popcorn because popcorn is my go-to. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked this little talk through of like how I kind of like to end my filming days and I kind of just, yeah, like taking a whole filming day. I just think that's this definitely works better for me than trying to push it into the same day because sometimes editing can be kind of a grueling process like I love editing when I'm like almost done with the video and it's like looking nice and put together and stuff but sometimes when I get into like the beginning stages of editing it's just kind of daunting to me so I like to like I'll do that tomorrow <laughs> that's what I'm about anyway so if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give this a thumbs up and let me know if you guys would like to see how I edit my videos or th like that type of video I guess like my editing routine kind of thing. I could show you guys like where I go for plugins, what I actually use for my software editing, and all that good stuff, like where I go to edit my photos, and I just think that would be kind of a fun video to film and show off. So if you guys like to see that, definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up again, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because, gosh dang it, YouTube is just kind of broken. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.